Hey everybody, welcome to the Evil Ted channel. What and we're doing in today's episode. You notice the background's different because I'm not in my shop. I'm in Seattle in Bill's shop. And what I'm doing today is I went out and bought myself a bones, oh sorry, a brain saw. Raven, watch, wait for it, wait for it. Woo! But what I'm doing today is I'm gonna go ahead and bond those screw, do a badass paint job on this and have a blast doing this. But I'm not doing this alone. Ha -ha! Ah, I'm with my buddy Bill, and, Bill, and Bill's making a so cool Nerf gun as well. Let's do it! Right here, on the Evil Ted Channel! channel. <laughs> Woo! That was my line. <laughs> Oh, when you guys are dealing with small screws, go to any kind of Radio Shack or electronic store. Great little metal trays with magnets so you can put your hardware in so you do not lose them. Very important to have one of these. Here we go. I have my screws out of the gun. You can notice the main reason I'm taking this thing apart is because of the spinning wheel in here. I have to take this out because I want to paint this. But this also is a Nerf gun with springs and whatnot, so I'm very... Scared, but I got the screws off. I'm very carefully going to try to take this apart and hopefully nothing flies in my face. Here we go. Um, oh, well, well, could this uh, see? I realized that the spring system might be something separate, which it looks like it is, and the wheel something. Oh, this is awesome. All right, see, this is just a shell, and I can cope with this, and all the mechanism is right here. I can look at all of this and I understand it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cell phone and take a picture of this. So if anything has to come out, I can reproduce it. Good idea, Ted. Thanks, Britt Duran. <laughs> <laughs> you just call me Britt. No, Britt gave me the idea. Oh. <laughs> so I'm giving your wife a shout out. I think I'm just gonna, let me see what I can do with this wheel. Oh, <gasps> it just comes out. This is awesome. I can just paint oh, it and drop it that off. separately, it's great. Yes, that was my home mission. That's all I want to do. Everything else can stay in place. I'm not touching any of this, people. This is all I wanted and it came out beautifully. I just realized, guys, I went ahead, the, the spring mechanism that shoots the darts naturally just lifted. Nothing was screwed or glued in, so it lifted out very nicely. So I'm going to wrap this, and I'm able to paint this separately, which will be cool. I'm probably going to go like black or dark metallic, and I'll be able to drop this back in. But the whole pulley system and everything is still intact. I'm not going to mess with any of this. This is all going to stay right where it's at. It's perfect. Since I have these in pieces already, I like this. I'm going to go and paint them, but I'm going to go ahead and start masking off the mechanism so when I paint it, I don't get any paint on the, uh, the components themselves. And I'm going to do that with some great 3M blue tape. <clears throat> all right, I got the gun all pulled apart. This went together really easy. I got the, sh the, the dart mechanism with something separate lifted out. I got the two shells here. I got the spinning wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, just doing a base coat of primer on this. I'm using, doing Krylon Fusion. This is the black. I'm going to use this as a base coat. Once we get this down, we'll start thinking about how we're going to paint this. But let's get the primer on this first. Again, everybody, I got overzealous. I realized, uh-oh, it says Nerf. Not that I, I actually love Nerf, but not on my prop. So we get rid of the logo, and as it says up here, it says brain saw again very cool but I'm going to remove the lettering I'm gonna go over it with a nail file first get a majority of it up and then I'm gonna go back and clean all the grooves up with the uh, nail file <clears throat> all right we pretty much sand all the graphics off of this to help paint make the paint stick you want to rough up the surface for all the small parts I'm definitely gonna put primer on this but this always helps to go over it a little bit with the scotch brite to rough up the plastic surface well, I guess I pretty much went over this with the, the scotch bright and the sanding. What I like to do, too, is that you see I put rubber gloves on because I'm going to take uh, denatured alcohol on a rag. I'm just going to wipe down the uh, toy with it because what that does, it just gets all the fine oils and grit off the dust. Not the, just the dust, but your oily hands, oily fingerprints. This helps. This really helps prep it for paint. The guys that design these uh, Nerf, uh, Nerf Zombie Nerf Strikes are just, they're crushing it. They're doing just an amazing job. Not the designs are intricate, but they're fun, and they kind of have this wasteland vibe. Like everything's wrapped in leather, and like the handle is a screwdriver on the gun, like it's homemade. All right, I gave everything the once over. It is time for primer. I'm gonna go ahead and have these guys. Let's get a coat of black Krylon Fusion primer on this. 
All right, this is the mechanism for the Nerf. It sits inside the dart section of the gun. So it's super shiny because it's that uh, Nerf plastic. But again, I'm gonna go back over all this for the scotch Bright. And since it's a separate piece, I'm gonna definitely prime it with the, with the black. Crime but I'm definitely gonna paint this as a different color before I put it back in so it stands out by itself. And you don't have to mask them. What was that, Ted? You don't have to mask them. My, nasy, my noisy neighbor. Ta-da, here it is. Again, look at this detail, I won't lie. I could take my finger and rub and buff this thing, it looks so amazing, it would be done. But I'm not gonna let myself do that. Um, I'm gonna keep everything, because there's so much detail, I think a lot of it would look cool with a wash. So we're gonna go with the, I'm gonna keep some parts black, and some parts I'm gonna do gray. All right, there it is. As mask and decided what I'm gonna do is keep the black parts black. The chainsaw blade that comes up part of the blade, I'm gonna keep black and do a rub and buff, but everything, the majority of this body is gonna be gray. Then I could go back in later with different, uh, with a brush with different colors and highlight what I wanna change. What I'm gonna paint, I don't know, but I think as I get the gray on it, it'll tell me what I'm gonna paint next. But this is super cool. Good old mask. Ted's props talk to him. And so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, my props are actually gonna talk to me. Here's the rubber chainsaw blade thing. I just realized this is polypropylene plastic, which is probably part of the sliding mechanism. So I'm gonna take this thing off and clean it because I got paint all over it. I should just mask it or took it off. Damn it, Ted. Damn it, me. So I'm going to do that next. Took it all out and took alcohol and wiped all the paint off. So this is, I can tell now the plastic will help this wheel spin a little bit better because that was the whole way it was designed. And like a knucklehead, I should have just taken off the first place before I painted it. Yay, there they are. Got this, got that. This is the big problem. I'm just gonna demask them one at a time. Remember, Ted, these don't have to be done today. We're going to screw no, no, it tomorrow. No, I know. I'm just, it's, I feel like Ted's trying to race me. No, it's just I'm in work prop mode. Like, <laughs> I'm so used to, I've been, you guys understand, 15 years at a shop where everything's going to be done in like one or two days. But you're right, I can really relax and enjoy this. I'm just, uh, I'm over here individually masking bullets. But also, I'm I not, haven't done any paint. Because you're building, Bill, I'm painting. All right, I got my laid out. I got my colors picked up. I'm going to do now is kind of I have some different colors, some gold, and some silver. I'm gonna kind of cut through and paint all this plastic screw heads. I think I'm really gonna make them pop. So I'm gonna do all this because once I get this all done, then I'll give it a black wash. But before I do the black wash, I want to make sure I go through and get all my highlights in different colors because I can dirty it all at the same time. All right, there it is. I got the colors on here. I went ahead, got the primer, did the black, went in with a brush, did some silver, did the gunmetal. I uh, found little things that look like wires, painted those red, found something different color, did a little bit of gunmetal. And the great thing was I just wanted to do a, diff a bunch of different colors on this. And the next step is I'm going to go ahead and do a black wash on this to grab the detail. And the very last thing I'll do is do the rub and buff on this. All right, I got the base coat, got the colors. I did my black wash and I started ahead and got a little overzealous and started jumping in the rub and buff. And the black, this detail, look at this. Look at how it just grabs all that finite you can paint all you want, but just doing a little rub and buff on this. Look at that sucker pop. It's amazing. So that's our chainsaw blade, and you can see all the detail really come up. And again, you could dry brush this, but it would not nearly look as good. So I paint this flat black, and that rub and buff is just grabbing that paint, which is awesome. All right, there it is. I got this has been all painted. I rub and buff. It looks amazing. This is the rubber wheel of the Nerf uh, saw. I went ahead and just painted it flat back so I was rubbing, rubbing buffet to match the uh, the chain on this. So it gives the illusion it's all part of one. Here's the other half. I am going to go ahead, flip this over, like so. And let's put this bad boy back together. This goes right, this falls in. Let me show this is in there correctly. It's spinning great. So now I have that. I have the mechanism that goes in here. Hold on. Put this around, that mechanism we had earlier. Here it is, of course I taped it because I want to keep everything together. I was too paranoid about taking the thing apart because I would not remember how it goes back together. So I'm very gonna gingerly take the tape off. Oops, this goes back in like this. Ah, perfect, all right. Make sure it's all snug, got that, got this, perfect. Now, get the top shell. And 
line everything back up. Oh, you know, I just realized something, folks. Look at that orange trigger. Oh, no, the trigger. <laughs> now, do we paint this? Hold on. How easy it is to remove this trigger? Wait for a second. All right, it comes out pretty easily. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do something to this trigger. Okay, I went ahead and did it. Painted it black. See, now it's done. Now it's black. Now I can close it up because nothing ruins it more than a bright orange trigger. I did the same thing on the Modern Rope video. Did you watch that where I did the Nerf mods? Oh, and you did the trigger? Finished the whole thing. Orange trigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, a, a gray plastic handle, and it's supposed to be wrapped in leather. We're just going to go ahead and glue this on and wrap leather around it to solve that problem. So we're not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and put this on. This is the slide that goes in the bottom of the gun. The reason this is not painted because this is a slide. No matter, if you put paint on this, it's going to scrape it off because I need the handle to slide on this to pump the uh, Nerf gun. And luckily, it's a nice off. It's like a nice gray color, which is nice. So we're just going to drop that in like so. Okay, now we're going to move on to the handle here. This is, of course, plastic faux like wrapped. So I thought we were just going to stay with the theme. I'm going to very gently brush some contact adhesive around this and do the same with leather. I'm then going to wrap it in leather. Sorry, it's not barge. It's not barge. Can't find the barge. That's right. You know something? When it comes to gluing leather to plastic, I don't care. <laughs> so. Okay, we got the contact adhesive on the handle. I got my strips of leather. I'm going to start with the top right here. Where the leather ends, I just go ahead and take another piece of leather, square it up, and just super glue it under that. Just keep going. I'm not going to get that crazy anal about it. Steal some of, steal some of Bill's super glue. How dare you! <laughs> Can't stop me now. Here we go. That worked out great. It's all wrapped. A little bit of plastic showing. Not a big deal. Okay, there it is. Went ahead and took the handle off. Wrapped it in leather. And these things are pressure fits because I know because I put them in and had a bear trying to get them out. So, now they got leather on them. Much cooler. I'm going to have to push them back in. And once they're in, they're going to be good to go. There's no screws to hold these in. The pressure fit. Oh, there it goes. Arr. All right. Now, this is in. Handle's in. This looks great. Everything, this, now we got to flip this over. Pull the lever. Where's the lever? Oh, it's right, it was here. Okay. Let's pull the lever make sure it works. Hey! All right. Well, the next step is we'll load these up with darts and make sure this still fires. Wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it works. Ah! I was, <laughs> oh, it worked. And look at all the dust <laughs> falling. Oh, it does. <laughs> Everybody, it's all done, guys. I got my bone saw. It's happening. I put it back together. It's still working. This is super cool. This came out really cool. I'm really happy. Look at Bill's. Bam. That's so cool. Guess what? You know what we're going to do with these bad boys? First of all, uh, I did a video build on this, and guess what? He did too. Yes, it did. So, guys, don't forget to go check out Bill's video. He'll be having a build on this. I'm going to have a build on this as well. And the cool thing is we're going to put both these bad boys on what, Bill? Up on eBay at the same time. time. We'll have links for it below the video. So we guys like, it's just, uh, it's a friendly company. Friendly, yeah. yeah. See who's goes it's for sure. more, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm, I was feeling really confident until I saw Bill's uh, site that lights up and stuff. And, but don't forget, look, that spins. That's a pretty good... Uh, Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the links below. Get in on the eBay and watch our videos, all right? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on the Evil Dead channel. Gotta go find my balls. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs>